All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Good morning, Kata, how are you doing? You're kind of a one-man show on the words on stream. Let me go over here and check audio, make sure that is in fact working. Hey, sounds like it's working. All right, switch over to this. I got itchy nose. Oh, well. Oh, well, claim to fame, right? <laughs> um, right. Okay, let's get, it's not going to launch again, is it? Nope, that will not launch again. Yeah, I'm, I, I can do four letters, three letters, two letters, but anything above that. It's teamwork, right? Teamwork. Oh, yes. Thanks, Electro. Electro and I were well, I was being educated. I retained some of it, but not all of it. I just, it's a hurdle. I just have to keep running and hope I don't knock my knees on it. He made quite the discovery on the condenser, evaporator, purge, and what's the other one called? Pressurant valve. So I have to do that. Then load. Let me just do this one. What's on the Discord? Okay. A save. Right, it's enabled. Oh, I didn't know he put it out there. All right, well, good. Oh, this. Uh, okay, that was testing stuff. Air difficulty settings. Ooh, all right, hang on. Very true. All right, it's enabled there. Oh, you know what? the save file which I should be able to open right now good morning Ben my games stationers saves this up open that okay got the right game settings and we're good there food It's a lot of things. All 
All right, sweet. That is a real roundabout way to get that to load in. That's for sure. Okay. Um... All right, so um, I'm gonna go uh, make sure stuff is power. Oh, I have a solid gen. I'm gonna do something different with the solid generator down here. I had an idea. Yes, I did. All right. All right, let's go see if the guys are still, um, around. Let's make sure they're good. Good, 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 good. Not very clean, but it's there. All right, so we have two guys and two chairs. There they are. All right, sweet. Um, AJ, good morning. Have you wrapped your mind around the difference between radiation and convection? You know, I think the only way I'm really gonna wrap my head around it is if my life depended upon it. So I'm trying. <laughs> and I think it's one of those things to where it becomes, if you learn it through science and you get it, then that makes it, you know, one of those things that you can just keep moving on to the next one. But then if you can learn it through muscle memory and understand the do's and don'ts, which is my category, it takes a little bit longer. Did I just drink some? I did, all right, so let's grab some grub. Oh, okay. Okay. That's true. I love it. AKA the, the air fryer. All right. So I had a couple of ideas. So Kata, whenever you want to join in, just hop in discord and um, should be able to join. There he is. Morning. Maybe. Good Maybe. morning. Oh, there you are. How you doing? Is that working okay? You're working uh, just fine. No? Yes? Test? Oh. Um. It was working. There we go. So I just need to adjust my um, Discord settings. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, can you do me one favor? Um, mm -hmm. Can you change your settings to push to talk? Oh, of course I can. Thank you very much. It does become a kind of a pain, but if for some reason there's some background noise or, you know. A random jump scares. Yes, yes, yes. Which is fine. Which is actually fun. Right, what was I going to do? All right, 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 right. <sighs> so the ice crusher. In convection, you need air molecules to touch the system at lower temperatures than the system. In radiation, the photons, light, vibrate heat energy away from the vacuum, the sun. Hang on. So in radiation, so if I'm trying to 
take a hot gas that's in a pipe that's not insulated and I want to cool it faster, I want to do a radiated radiator versus a convection radiator. Is that right? I got that backwards. All right. Yeah, I had an idea, two ideas actually. I think I don't need another one. So they changed the ice crushers to where they crush slower for whatever reason. And I thought to address that, um, first of all, how am I going to do this? Oh, I know how. I think. So let's turn this off for a sec. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put two ice crushers here so we can do it twice as fast. And Convection will never touch anything in a vacuum. Gotcha. Is the arc furnace faster? I think just the furnace is faster, yeah, to, to melt ices. But yes, if you route power to an arc furnace, can you move water from a room? I guess you could. Yeah, I bet you're talking. I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you talking. What the heck was that? Wreckage. Weird. So you can set the ice crusher to zero and it'll be back as it was? Is there pros yes, you can. Is there pros and cons of doing that then? Uh, some gases because of the, f the phase change problems. Um, they they instantly freeze or they turn to liquid. So it's, oh. it's, it's set to like a default 15, but you can set the water to maybe five degrees. It should be fun. Oh, I gotta build it. Keep forgetting.
Now, to do this, all this ice is going to come tumbling out. Is there a way to put a... Is there a way to actually like plug up? No way to avoid the mess. All right, so. Right. These are full because I went out and just dug these up. All right, so let me get some more backpacks. I can clean up the mess I'm about to make. Okay, what I was going to do is I was going to put another ice crusher online. I was just going to do a flip flop at the one point. Fence it in. Ah, be easier That's... to. It'll be like a game. <laughs> uh, hard suit. No, I need the mining back. There it is. Funny, they're orange here, but they come out white. Oh, I had two mining bags. Now I'm going to do a non-OSHA compliant, MOSHA compliant uh, operation here. Since they're not on site, Kittens. Uh oh, just, I picked up something I didn't want. To. Uh, Electra says my next fish tank generator test is placing four gas generators into the same room, single input. Ah, see that's what we're gonna do after we figured out how the the uh, those are working. So that didn't take long, except for um. I got a gas I don't want. There it is. Okay. Come on. Got a little steamy over here. Oh dear. Like a sonar again. That's all right. Do you want me to um, lower the temperature of these two, or just leave them at 15? Nah, I was just going to leave them alone. It's fine. Water. 
Oh, that's not what the water pipes. Uh... All right. Did I? Oh, they're there. I'm assuming since you're wanting to pump these, we need to pump past like right here. So, Ben says to use a flip-flop. Shoot flip-flop. Different flip-flops? Oh, Alright, so let's see here. Uh, that way. That'll work, I guess. And from here. Bugs, I get it. All right, let's see if that works. I guess it works okay. I don't really care for the it's here. I 
One's empty. Yep. That one's not empty. These should all be full. Alright, so a little bit more water, a little bit faster. Thongs? Yeah. I don't I don't have the toe muscles for long long thongs, thongs. Alright. So I had an idea that since the source of coal is right there, I was gonna move the solid generator over here and give it a direct source of fuel. But I have to make sure we have a wire. Uh, let's see here. There's the red wire that we're hooked to, right? We're hooked to the green. We need a green wire. Right. I'll wait till Ben gets here to confirm I can mess up his electrical system. You know, in the 80s, yes. Nowadays, no. So why do I see massive changes in temperature going on here? Why are we looking? Well, I'm looking up at the filter. Oh wait, if I'm not mistaken. So nitrogen is at one megapascal. That's set to 20 megapascals. That's not the best one. Well, our nitrogen is still super cold over here. And um, I think the recirculation okay I got the heaters on okay, so that should be helping yeah. it's off it's on. So if I take a look at I see some rails, so maybe Moshe wouldn't bring the full hammer down. No, they won't bring the full hammer. They'll bring that little squeaky toy one. Warning. So I'm heating up the recirculation. Because I made a boo-boo and connected the main nitrogen to the coolant downstairs, and I cooled all the nitrogen, and then it radiated or dispersed. So that's actually heating up. All right, that's fine. That's pulling down though. It's weird. Oh, there's so little gas in there though. All right. That's cooling down. Uh, all right. I'm gonna let that sit for a while. All right. So I um did that. So our power is going to become a problem. 
what I wanted to do is something that we've never done before, or I've never done. With a solid generator, it emits a bunch of gases when you use it. So I want to actually capture those gases. I think it's just CO2 and X, but still, that'd be fun. So I want to create another mess. Right. Now I'm not going to dig it up. I'm just going to uh, move it. Maybe. Yeah, no, it was unearthed coal. So we've got a waste pipe already right here.
So Katie made a huge progress with the large radiator for cooling or warming the water and applied some logic. That was an experience and a half. <laughs> I really struggled with because uh, I was trying to work out how to do it and um, I could get one side to work but I couldn't get the other side to work and in the end I just went on the workshop and had a look how some other people do it and then it, it hit me where I was going wrong. Uh, sometimes reinventing the wheel doesn't always pan out. I could find loads that would just for heating, I couldn't find ones which were for specifically for the moon in heating and cooling. I died on Venus. I don't want to go back there. I ran out of oxygen. So, and the only way to get oxygen is traders, and I couldn't get that to work at all. All right. I keep dying on Europa. I just can't keep my power alive. Let's see here. making some quick repairs. There was CO2 in the tank, but not enough that um, it would be helpful. Mm -hmm. What am I looking for here? I am looking for the sensor. Hey, Torch, how you doing? Good morning.
Oh, really? I knew I had. Well, I, I know it. I know more. Um. um Who I need? Steel? Plastic? I don't know. Alex is here. Hi, Alex. Alex waved. Oh. Alex allergic mornings. gas from that box you might be able to use it as a emergency sort of heating if the coolant line gets too cold maybe oh i i i'm not too sure what it puts out if it puts out heat i know it's going to put out some sort of a gas uh, i've never collected that gas but i think it's useful be a quick BRB guys.
All right, I am back. I had to, had to help Alex with some medicine with Pookie. All right. Welcome All back. right. So I got sensor. Are all close off that one. So I'm going to use a single act event. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Oh, uh, now Pookie, a few years ago, I would say probably four, got into a fight with another cat or raccoon or something, and he didn't bounce back very quick. And the doctor said that his immune system is pretty much shot because he's so old so now he's an indoor cat so when he gets something an ailment or something we make sure we give him antibiotics so we gave him and he's he's really good at it too he doesn't care for it but he doesn't you know you didn't hear any hissing or you know fire alarms or anything like that he just that's like is that ben yeah, there's ben hi ben Ben, are you awake? With coffee. Okay. Right. I'm so lost. What am I looking for? I'm surrounded by circuitry and wires. I'm going to strangle myself. Um. Do you have a laptop, Ben? No, I just got. That's the case. Do you have a laptop on station? Then? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. He actually made me one. It's over at Site B. I am looking for... Uh, I'm just getting ready to... Uh, I'm in the IC code. Ooh. Um, so if I want to extract... Put it... This. Can I put it... Are you at site B? No, no, I'm at my desk. All right. I think I have a feeling I'm getting low on power. Uh, we're at 60s, 40 top side, so I'm gonna go solid generator running. Oh, the lights, or the gen uh, sun's coming out. This bad boy. Now I'm going to avoid putting things on the floor and actually build a wall. Well, you know. Ben doesn't appreciate my my bad habits. Uh, okay, hang on a sec. We have a problem. All the that sound good. yeah, no, I don't see anything in the lockers. So, and all the circuitry is gone. So, um, can you do me a favor? Hop out. No worries. Well, good thing I didn't jump in yet. Yeah. I had this time with Ben once, and then if I do a quick save, and then all I have to do is leave the session. I'm out. All right. I load. Okay, to go ahead and hop back in. Yep. Okay.
Uh, I'm going to have to complete the exit. It's not letting me join again. It's just right. connecting to server. Hi, right, Ben. You're up. All right, jumping in. If Ben can't connect, then as well, I have to do is jump all the way out and launch. Ben's connected. Well, it says. Yeah, so far, so good. So I'm going to read something to y'all that um, Electro was very kind enough to do a lot of testing for stationers because it's not documented anywhere. And Kata said he shared it in the Discord on stationers. Did you get an okay, Ben? Okay, Ben got it. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's on that. It's, it's some really, really interesting stuff. Um, so basically, when he was saying that the condenser and evaporator things were mislabeled i was trying to figure out well what else could they be and what he concluded was that those devices prioritize the moving of gas or liquid depending upon what you're doing it's not really doing any condensation condensing or evaporating or expanding it's doing nothing of the sort um instead he recommended using a pressure valve or the purge valve so i'm using the purge valve correctly but i don't have a pressure valve um, so he tested the pressure valve because when I hooked up in my single player game with him, it wasn't doing anything. I had it set wrong though. So he figured that out. Um, so instead of having it set at five kilopascals, set it at five megapascals, uh, so that the water pipe, um, would actually, water would drain out of the gas pipe. And he said that works. That said, both the pressure valve and the purge valve work the same as the expansion and condensation valves. They both move liquid and gases. The only difference is that the pressure and purge valves um, are slow. Um, so you can go from lower pressure to higher pressure. No, I'm sorry. I that. The only difference is that pressure and purge have pumps. So you can go from lower pressure to higher pressure versus the valves have no pumps. That means the pressure valve does work remove liquid from gas pipe we need logic so you can turn it on and off based on otherwise you just keep it on um so this means there is only one thing that will only get rid of liquid and that would be a passive liquid drain so gas pipe to a room uh, now in figuring that out he discovered something very useful that both the condensation no, i'm sorry the condensation and the evaporation valve prioritize moving liquid first so you can use a condensation valve on your gas pipe and it will eventually push out all the liquid in the pipe but you also have to hook up an evaporation valve um, it will just run in a circle so you could possibly use a digital valve plus evaporation combination with logic and condition valve that always stays open at times does that make sense guys Um, that's pretty much what I expected, yeah. Oh, okay. Because the uh, condensation valve and the um, expansion. The other way, uh, expansion valve, yeah. Uh, because they're passive device, they're not powered. It makes sense that they only flow if they flow into a lower pressure, right? See, and I, I, I just thought a condensation valve had some magic game stuff in it that when it detected liquid it would separate the liquid so it could go somewhere and get evaporated see i thought the expansion was a different word of saying evaporation so condensation would take the water dump it somewhere if you did it right and then the expansion or i thought was evaporation would evaporate it so i was thinking about them all totally wrong uh yeah maybe a better way to phrase it would be uh the condensation valve removes content of condensation. Sir, yeah. would you like me to bring you the bicoupled Grammy flash yeah, so thermoregulator, or do you just want to do what data always does and reverse the tachyon polarity? <laughs> okay, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I've tried. I'm stuck in limbo. It's just saying connected um, and not established connection. Oh, really? All right, and you completely quit it. Try this one thing before we have to reset. Um, Put out station ears and then quit steam all the way out too. Okie dokie. 
Did you just say okie dokie? I did say it's <laughs> okie. <laughs> I don't know if that's being me being incredibly British or being incredibly weird. I don't know. Um, I I, th I think it's a Canadian thing. So you say that all the time, but you're from Oklahoma. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thanks for having my back, Ren. Um. reboot and steam e. yeah um i'm gonna lose power downstairs for some reason i don't see any i see a transfer on but i don't see it transferring oh it might not be immediately visible Okily dokily, yeah, you're not doing a flander. So there's plenty of power topside. Oh, I do have a logic writer that's blinking now. Oh, no, we blew a cable up there again. Oh, All right, I found Kita on the base here, but he's bent backwards. Yeah, he's he's checking out something on the on the ceiling. He's okay. Yeah. I know, that's yeah, why I said. I'm making sure you OSHA compliant ceilings. Just checking for the uh you know the specs on the uh uh battery down here is draining fast i know i know there's a busted four-way valve up here that's a no on closing steam all right hang on one sec no worries all right now power's coming down so somehow uh, ben having solar and the solid generator, but it shouldn't have done it because I thought that large transformer would have fixed it. But somehow the four-way electrical connection between the two medium transformers got fried up here. Oh. Everything being transferred down there okay now? Yep, we're in mode two. All right, Transfer I'll do a quick save. Down. And you gotta go ahead and try to connect. Attempting now. He's just catatonic, nothing to see here. <laughs> nope. I I must be still connected on either your end or my end. Alright, let me see if I can do a See if that works. All right, now try it. Um, his ghost is still right here. Nope, still stuck. All right, so one more time, try to completely quit out of the station here. Tell me when you're done. There is an option I can clear disconnected players. I don't know if it still works. Yeah, that's something I'm thinking you're going to need to do. All right. I'm out. All right. And stationers is completely quit. Yep, all done. All right. And then uh, go ahead and um, put out a steam again completely. Let me do that. And I don't know if I can actually. Yeah, it doesn't actually say anything here. All right. Um, all right, go ahead and try to connect again. If not, then I'll have to uh, dump out of my end and see what happens. That's interesting. It says in the upper left hand corner that my connection is idle. Never seen that. Before. Is that because I'm not doing anything? I'm idle.
There's Ben. Hey, Ben. So you think you'll be able to... Still the same problem? All right. So, Ben, do me a favor. Go ahead and hop out. And I'll do a quick save. I'll be right back while you reboot. All right. Relaunch Steam. Launched. Ben, do you think you'd be able to get the nitrogen? You're going to use hydrogen to um, on the uh, uh, heat exchange, right? Correct. Because hydrogen never freezes; it never liquefies. Oh, cool. You know, with a slight side effect that you know, if it leaks and mixes with oxygen, well, then bad things will happen. But, you know, details. <laughs> um, We're on a that's going to be fine. <laughs> there's no way you can explode anything on the moon. Exactly. Can I actually do that from a client? I know I could do that on this. When, when I used to have a dedicated server, I could do that. So before I hop in the game... So I have a ten. All right. Um, yeah, that would save some time. But I used to have to do that. Is it okay? So let's just see real quick. I do have a command line, so let's see here. So that's my Steam ID. All right, oops. All right. Um, okay, let's try you first. There's Ben. Okay, try. That works. Yep. So the next time we have some sort of an issue, I'm going to try to do a kick command. Shuffleboard with Ben Edition. <laughs> well, only allowed one in at a time. Well, it's what I did is I, I, I pushed Ben behind something. I, oh, that's going to cause a problem when he rejoins. All right. Okay, let me know when you're completely in. Right. Go ahead and bid. Give it a try. Hey, look at there. It's okay here so far. <laughs> this is a laptop at site B. Yeah. Uh, I got one on me. You can have mine. Oh, I appreciate it. I don't need it for long. Oh, uh, correction. I don't appear to have one on me. <laughs> ben waved. Make sure you're still alive. There he is. Okay. Ben lives. All right. Then let me go make sure it's at site B. I can make a run over there, Sean. Oh, I got it. I'm halfway there. Well, I was a third of the way there. Hey. I'm nearly ready to hook this thing up. Really? Alright. You can see. He gave me a backpack. 
It had a lot of goodies in it. And I seem to have misplaced the bag. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. All right. All right. So, Kata has got some logic via IC code that is going to have the large radiators track the sun. And all right, where you at, Kita? I got a, I got a lock. I got a backpack. I'm by the fish tank. All right. There you go. It's all yours. Everything in there. The present from Ben. And, and yes, before anyone says it, that is re-gifting because Ben gifted it to me and I gifted it to Kata. Oh, look at all these chips. Look at so much I can do with them. There you go. Go back here. I was going to. That needs to be that way. Did I correctly hear large radiators tracking the sun? What use would that be? Uh, large radiators will bring the heat so that we can use the heat to heat something that needs to be warm and he's going to heat the water in the fish tank to a certain temperature so it's consistent and uh yeah so this is a water cooled gas generator versus gas cooled generator so uh what it will do is when it's too too cold it will turn towards the sun if it is too warm, it will turn away from the sun and therefore it will cool down the gas. And if the sun's not up, it, it, it can't do any heating, so it will just close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got, you know what? You need an elevator here. Ooh. All right, they're extending and tracking. No, wait. So that means that they're turning, turning away. On Hang on. Um, nope, they're tracking towards. Yep. That's why I attached the wall pipe ship. Right. Funny, one actually tracks a little. Okay, so one just took a while to catch up. All right. Yeah, that's the, the issue I was having when I was making this, was I could make the one on the left track absolutely perfectly, but the one on the right would go a different way, and I spent hours trying to work it out, do maths. And I just looked it up, so what you need to do is... Uh, this one on the left takes the value from the solar reader, the one on the and the one on the right takes the value from the other one, and then... Alright, so it's it's a little bit behind then, okay. But it, it worked. It was just trailing a little bit. Cool. Yep. I'm just going to make sure that it goes uh, when the sun goes away, it closes. And then when it does, I will attach the water pipes. All right. Uh, then Ben's going to somehow bring, oh, he's going to reuse the nitrogen line. He's going to purge it, and use that to bring the hydrogen down. All right. So, uh, and I'm playing with um, full. It's very much like the um, Angel of the North in Newcastle, if anyone's been there. Just a broad winged 
statue that I've just stuck out the moon. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Alright, so those are crushing, so you should be getting water down there. You're good. Boy, I came up with a perfect name for that little angel. Temperance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Alright, so I need some cables and some pipe. But this will only work on the moon. If it's on a planet, it will. Um, the cooling element doesn't work as well. The heating element works fine, but the cooling element only works in a vacuum. said might be a good idea to use the use that to keep gas storage warm instead of using electric heaters was that for kata sound like it yeah it's perfectly translatable into um into like a heat exchange because it the way i've done it is it allows you to keep the gases um between two separate ranges I'll post the code and then um, you'll be able to see it, but it is, I'll post the, the original where I got the, the code fix that I needed from, and I'll post my the credit where credit's due, because um, I was yelling at this all week. <laughs> I had a eureka moment. There was just a moment where they wouldn't do anything at all, and then I realized that I was never uh, updating the variables. She's in his own. So to keep everyone posted, uh, Kata's going to get his fish tank online today. Um, ben is got a plan in place to is oh hey is there a reason why these turbo pumps are on is that because there's no gas and they're trying to pump gas oh yeah the valve yeah, they've been on for a while you might want to check if there's a leak or something uh well i don't think let's see here gas coming from there's 
no gas in the in the network. Very little gas. All right. So the um, turbo pumps that pass gas from the cooling system aren't turning on. So they're trying to extract gas that doesn't exist. They're trying to pump gas that doesn't exist. Does that make sense, Ben? Sorry, I missed your explanation there. Um, the large tank has barely got any gas. And um, I guess it doesn't show up in the pipe network. So they're on trying to maintain a pressure. Uh, of... From a non-existing source. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I might have interrupted the flow of that. I'll have to take a closer look again here. All right. So to summarize, uh, Ben's fault. <laughs> All right, so there's the power. Just debugging, yeah. All right, Ben, I got a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> he does not want to answer my question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the output from the solid generator that I moved um, needs to go to a green line or a red line. Uh, it's power generation, so... Green? Uh, what's the other choice? Red? <laughs> oh, definitely not red, no. Okay, all right. All right, no problem. So, guys, you may uh, may have not saw the, saw the Discord, but uh, Alex and I spent a couple hours in the garage, and we stripped down some plywood cleats and got them spaced and mounted to walls and did a template so we can uh, replicate what we did. A good... Good couple of hours spent in the garage. All 
Okay, so it's nighttime. No solar. Solid generator is still running. We're running out of solid. Cables. No, I just remembered I took out the whole checking if it's um, day or night time when I was testing, so I'm just re adding it. I'm sealing that locker that used to be by the where the solid generator was. All right, no problem. Is there any practical use, use for the fuses that they have in the game? Yeah, they're like... Um, Breakers? Yeah, except that you can't reset them. If you blow <laughs> a fuse, just blow. you have to replace okay. the fuse. Yeah.
There you go, I think I fixed it then. Uh, if you need a new copy of the code, um, it's in this laptop. Okay, I'll come grab a copy or something. Um, yeah, I'm setting up a temperance number two over there. Yeah, what I had done was when I was testing, I was fed up waiting for the sun to come up and down, so I just took out the, the solar check, so I've just re-added it in now. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Just do a final safety check and then um, I'll connect it all up. Oh, you just made Moshe very happy. Hey. <laughs> I plugged it all and expecting it to work. And I was like, why is it not working? Oh, yeah. I didn't save the, the final version. situation is much better now. It's rising. Oh, good. Yeah, you know, my solution is if it doesn't work, just add more. Over-engineer it. Suffocate, I don't have any filters. You're suffocating? What? I don't have any filters. <laughs> I just to sort out. Wait, what did you say? I ran out of filters. Oh, oh okay. Because all of a sudden you, I heard a bunch of giggling gibberish. I thought all of a sudden you were like sucking in helium or something. He's fine. It's just carbon dioxide poisoning. I'll live. Recycler anywhere, or am I just eating these? Uh, no, uh, yeah, there's a, a recycler, um, topside tool platform. And if you walk towards the the landing pod, you'll see it. 
Oh, it's by the combustion centrifuge. By the what? Oh, it's not. It's towards the wireless uh, transmission site. Speaking of your combustion sensor is meant to be off. Say again? Sorry, my headset's not working very well today. The combustion centrifuge, is it meant to be off, uh, oh. turned off? Uh, it should be on, and uh, I think it just stressed out. I was, I was playing with it. Apologies, I'm not quite used to push to talk. I keep letting it go a little slightly too early. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It, it was, was kind of fun when you were saying that you were hallucinating. I just found a stack of 50 cable coils just lying around on the surface of the moon. Oh, that's fine. Three. code for these uh, pipes here because I can't even tell what's what anymore. Um, green line is going to be the nitrogen feed. Um, what we used to be, what used to be green, that was the cold input to the generators, we're going to repaint as maybe blue and green. Oh, if it's back there in that one area, that'll be fine, yeah. Use pipe labels as well. Yeah, that involves reading. <laughs> Who needs to read? All right. Um, trying to do things did you find the recycler Data. yes i did okay i recycled my myth excellent hmm. the sun coming up we're going down the sun's going down. Right. it's going down at the minute so i'm just waiting to make sure the panels close and when they do I'm just going to attach it all up. <sighs> all right, so this is... All right, there might be a bit of overspray. <laughs>
Hey, if you think you've um, got all the water you need when you get to a point with that, can you possibly switch over to uh, filling? Hang on one second. Right. Before I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> We've only got. I'll have one thing. All right. Yeah. I mean, whenever you think you have enough water, um, we only got 30 liters up in the greenhouse. Oh, yeah, I can fill up. I think I'm almost there, just one last test. All right. I left out a line that will close them if it's too hot. fuel pipe. What do you need? Uh, insulate pipes. Silicon. If I remember right, you should have loads in the storage past the miners. in the first uh, green room over here. Oh, is it really? It means uh, we got a burst pipe on the Celsius. logic, huh? 57 Celsius. Well, does that mean we don't have any refrigerant over here? Let's see. So the cooling logic's on. Yeah, but the cooler isn't. Yeah, let's see. 
Um, there is coolant. Go ahead and um, turn on. Oh, there you go. Interesting. <laughs> this network's got CO2 and pollutants in it. Not much, though. Uh, the logic has got. 295.15, so what is that? 30 degrees Celsius? 40? Just be that login log um, login logic glitch. S sometimes when you log in, exactly the point was meant to tick over, it never checks it again. I got two and a half stacks of uh, insulated pipes for you here, coming your way. I found some on my journey, I'm just trying to work out where to start to connect it. Do you have a floppy disk on you, Ben? Yep. Oh, I'll borrow it in a second once I've got these pipes.
Okay, the heating's connected. It'll take a bit to heat up, but um, it's on. All right. We're heating in over a thousand liters of water, so it's not going to be incredibly quick. Water. Oh, it's already at 15, so we're going up. Sing something.
Hey, it's all plumbed in. Once it reaches 40 degrees, it will be able to turn up. It's temp right now. At 15.5, it was at 14, so it is going up. It's just nighttime, so it won't go up anymore. Oh, all right. When you work underground, it's hard to tell. But if you wanted to come look at the finished product, sure will. Just clean it up my mess here. Some serious power problems. 13% downstairs, 36 upstairs. Um, I got the other solid there generators. There's some gas in the cooling line, but not much. Okay. Not sure if it's super cold. Well, I relocated the downstairs solid generator. Um, I don't have any logic hooked up to it. It goes to a goes to a battery, and um, so it should be feeding network on the green line. The reason why I did that is that um, we didn't have any power downstairs, we couldn't run anything, so. We are transferring from top side. Top side's at 32%. All right, let's go take a look at uh, what Kato's saying. So, um, what is the target pressure for, um, the fish tank? 20. Um, otherwise the gas fuel generator is un unable to function. Right. Right. So once it's up to temperature, it will work. So we have the two liquid inlets and the two passive outlets. So they're just continually feeding in and pumping out continuously. <clears throat> uh, they won't stop at all. We have the water reserve, um, which uh, is quite a bit of water. It will continuously just um, uh, uh, cycle it. Um, so, and this is still the input. We still need a little bit more, not by much. I, um, I want to have a look when I can turn it on, um, how much more we need. All right, we're not heating because it's daytime or nighttime. No, so up there um, is the... Um, is the is the heater? I'll be <clears> back in a few minutes. So what this does is um, it's like a passive heater because you can do it with loads of um, pipe heaters, but with the power issues, um, it would just completely can add to it, and then you wouldn't gain. 
absolutely anything from building this at all. So um, th there is some logic in place that if the temperature is below the target temperature um, at night time, it won't do anything. Because if you if you have these open, um, so if you try and open them, it will just force it shut. Uh, because it, it will cool the network and when the oh, sun comes oh, oh, up. Oh, yeah. All right. These will turn and then they will track the sun. If it's too hot and it's daytime, these will turn so they're side on to the sun and they can still be open and cool because it needs to be in the direct line of, of, of uh, sunlight to heat up. So is the logic actually tracking the sun right now but not moving the radiator? Yes, it is. Um, I didn't want to make any unnecessary movement or lag. Uh, you can track it okay. constantly. But it, it will normally reset to this position because the uh, sun is going to rise on this side and um, it will hit it there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... It's usually a smart thing with solar panels. You want to, when you're done with the daytime, you rotate it back to the nighttime or the where it would be at daytime because if you run out of power, at least your panels will catch the sun coming up. <clears throat> yeah, that's all, that's all working. Just got to wait for it to heat up and we're right. done. Uh, it looks like... Um, as I look at the panels, they are rotating around, cracking, waiting for the sun to come up. Looking at the earth, it looks like not too long. It's not fantastic heating, uh, but it works. And um, it uses very little power. But um, I'm happy to share this code. Um, as I say, it is a modification on one of the workshop. I'll, I'll post the original as well. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure someone would love to dink around with it. I think it's. Uh, I see Ben's building one as well. Um, so I think that's going to touch onto his uh, liquid cooling. Because what you can do is. You can control the temperature of a liquid and then you can do a heat exchange um, to your gases. So it's really good for cooling. Heating it's not as great because you can only do it in the daytime. But cooling, you can just always do it. You hear that, Ben? You can always cool. If you were on a planet, you can only cool to the planet's temperature. Oh, right, right. I think if, if anyone wants to correct me, I haven't actually tested it on Vulcan because I think it would inter interact with the atmosphere. But this is all hooked up to your logic to turn on when the power gets out of, um, to a certain state. Well, we have... Um, so the generator that's not hooked up, that's what we called our first generator, and it worked until the phase change. <clears throat> so the second generator, or generator number two um that's the one that has actually generator two and three are pretty much exactly the same so except for generator number two waits for if the power gets down to 75 percent it'll try to kick on and then if we are hard up for power generator number three will kick on when it gets down to 65 percent now since we're waiting for the coolant none of these generators will work so we're gonna have to rely on solid which for some reason, um, looks like we just lost power. Ben, did I do something wrong with our power? We lost power. Yeah. It's back up now. It's up and down, up and down. Well, I have battery power at the solid generator, but I'm wondering if uh, I did it wrong. Oh, there's a blown wire. That's why. I'll fix it. I don't think I'm responsible. I'll fix it. Might be worth starting to put fuses in front of the batteries for the transfers. So you know where it's going to blow. First. There go. Uh, which greenhouse needed water? Uh, the big one. It's 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 okay. It's just down to 
Ten liters, that's all. Oh, eleven. That's the point. So I, I, I think I'm causing a problem. Alright Ben, I'm causing a problem. I don't mean to, but I am. I think he's uh he's silently judging you or is AFK. I always do him both. I'll put a fuse there. And let me go fix this other broken wire. Green water. Side has a hundred percent power. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, got ten percent. Sorry. All right, so putting a fuse would be a really good idea. I can um, I pass the battery and just fire the generator. I had that before and it was kilowatt five kilowatts so So a heavy cable, which can, unlike that cable, okay, so 100 kilowatts. So if I set this to that, let's see if that pops. Okay. 
Battery's gone down. Power transfer. That's what it is. Yeah, your battery's now being uh, drained completely. Yeah, there's another busted wire here. Oh, this line has the potential to draw on 99 kilowatts. Well, I'm guessing what I put in place is not the best way to do it. Your idea of putting a fuse there, so if hopefully that'll be the breaking point, I don't have to keep chasing down broken wires. Ben doesn't like it when I start playing with his electric. transfer taking place because there's not a 10% difference between top side and bottom. Curiosity, what is this? Huh. So, I was under the impression the solid generator had a gas that it emitted. I don't see anything coming down. I was Maybe I have to close it because I always see an atmosphere like coming from it, like it's burning something. But I'm standing in the room with it and I'm not getting anything. I mean, the window's open, but you'd think I'd get some residual. Well, um, all right, how's the fish tank doing? I just realized that I was adding cold water that was cooling it, so I just turned off the water for now. Well, I turned off the ice crushes, so um, it's got to heat this volume now. There's Ben! Absolutely nothing is broken, Ben. It's all fine. No, Ben, I, I broke it. I can show you where I broke it at. He's been here a while. I'm assuming he's here, okay. No, he's walking around. Oh, oh, he's just right here. Sorry. Probably had yeah, an so emergency coffee we're situation. Yeah. So we're sixteen point three. It's going up a little quicker now because of um, I stopped the the, the cooler the, water coming. The in. ice crushing cold water. Gotcha. 
So now it should slowly heat up. It's not going to be lightning fast, but the only other way of increasing it would be have about. And that's just because of the pure IPs. volume, right? Yeah, it's the sheer volume of it. But once it's up, it will sit there. Because uh, water can absorb a lot of heat. Gotcha. All right. I guess we're not using an incredible amount of power downstairs. Because the only power generator, there's nothing being transferred between downstairs and upstairs yet. I don't see the, oh, now it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, what will take a lot of power is when you start using things like the neutralizer to make uh, more nitrogen because it's the easiest way of getting it. And that's like 20 kilowatts on its own. Um, all right, so I have a sensor in there. So if I close this room up, Just trying to see what gas is does it emit. Is it using it... the gas from the centrifuge or uh, no, the coal from the centrifuge, or is it just bound coal? Uh well it's it's in an open environment. It's in a box though, so if it's got something emitting, I'm gonna close the window and see. Um I got a hook a logic reader so I can see. It means that the coal you dig up might have gases, but the coal you get from the centrifuge. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah, this is from the centrifuge, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, all this coal came from the centrifuge, so it's it's clean. You you are absolutely right. Okay. Clean coal. Clean coal. Yes. Thanks, Electro. But um, go ahead and oh, that's a memory chip. I wonder if it generates any heat, though, the solid generator. Hmm. Now let's check.
Well, if that's the case, you know, if I take coal only from the centrifuge, I don't have to worry about emitting any gases. But it's true that the generator top side is using solid fuel, and I do see atmosphere swirling around it, so interesting. Oh, it's nighttime. If um, here. so he said that there was some coolant. We disassemble all this. Hey, Dan, what's up? just um you know waiting for the fish tank to warm up so we can get power from the fish tank and i thought i had a really brilliant idea to where i could uh feed coal to a solid generator constantly but i created a room to capture gases only to figure out that the coal i'm using comes from here so it's clean coal so it doesn't emit any harmful gases uh, and then when I tied in, <laughs> when I tied the generator in, I seemed to have blown some wires. So I was tracking all those down. So I think I created all the surrounding infrastructure and sensors and whatnot for no apparent reason. So let's let's see what happens here. So if I connect this wire, it's draining. Let's trace the wire to see if I cause an explosion anywhere. I think what happens is that when we do a power transfer based upon logic, and there's no logic behind that transfer. A cable will burst because it's saying, hey, there's too much juice coming from this source, this source, and this source. I'm, I, I can't handle it. And it blows. All right, I'm back. Coffee in hand. Well, hey there, Ben. I just thought you were giving us a silent treatment. I broke your electrical, then I fixed it, then I broke it, and then I fixed it again. Hey, look at that. Hey, car toys. Thanks for the 73 months. Appreciate it. What is this? This is uh, Chaos and Sue's. So that didn't that didn't bust. I don't know why.
question it. Alright, so we're waiting for another daytime cycle to heat up the fish tank. Power has been restored, so yay. And I'm thinking way to fire up this generator is to check the percentage on this battery that if it gets down to 50%, fire the solid That's what I want. So, really bad. Again, Car Toys, thank you so much for uh, the support. I appreciate it very much.
All right, so I want to read battery. What's it called? Oh, station battery. And I want to read the hour charge. Is that what I want to do? see what that is. So it says, oh, that's how much power is in it. That's not what I want. That's ratio. Power percent. Actually. Is there a way to get an average battery? Right here. Even though it's one battery? Oh. Um, what average are you talking about? Well, I want to... If, if if this battery gets down to halfway, I want to fire up the solid generator. And so I have a logic reader looking at it, and my only options are pre-hash, reference ID, power, mode, error, lock, charge, maximum, Ratio. Oh, I guess I want ratio. Maybe? Ratio, yes. All right. So if it's fully charged, I have a one. So if... All right, let me connect this wire and see what happens. That's always dangerous to say. If I connect this wire, what happens? Hold on. Now what is that? Ah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Thanks, Ben. No problem. All right, I'm finally draining the um, nitrogen feed line here, which I'm going to convert to a volatized line. Okay. Fortunately, I'm going to make our nitrogen reserve a little bit colder, but, you know. So, if it's um, less than zero, good. Logic I put in works. Right now it's off. No. Alright. How's the fish tank, Kata? Eating up? Oh, look at there. 17.4. Now, are you counting on the heat of the water to increase? Oh, it is. Okay, there it is. All right. I got it. I noticed as the heat goes up, the pressure goes up also. How do you relieve the pressure so it doesn't go above your requirements? Does the IC chip do that? Probably talking to me, but you didn't press the button. I am exactly doing that. I'm used to that with Red because he's always yelling at me in Space Engineers, I'm doing something wrong, but he's telling his chat not me. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm doing this right. And then he goes, 
Well, it would help if I press this button. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, because uh, water takes an incredibly large amount of energy to actually change its temperature, um, it's the pressure is not an issue because the box will hold an incredible large amount of pressure. Oh, it does. Yeah, one megapascal. Yeah. So unless the uh, water gets incredibly hot, and then it'll just tend to steam anyway, and then the entire thing will just stop functioning. Just so the idea is, is because you're basically you're using the sheer amount of volume of water, um, right. and even when this thing is on, when I'm using nitrogen fuel, the right. hottest I've ever seen it get is at uh, 50, and that was um, before I had this cooling system. Um. All right, so the fuel line is coming off of, okay. The one thing that we do for all the generators, we double stack pressure regulars to make sure we get a consistent 70 megapascals, but it looks like um, probably, did I did I do that? Oh, I, oh, no, no. So you should have probably brought your fuel source from over here. We'll see if it works because all these are going to be limited oh, to 70. See. Yeah. And if all the generators starts draining from here. So if you off of where right here, where this, where I'm standing, if you come off of here and just kind of stack on top and bring it all the way down here and then yeah. but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We're not using those right now. So this is probably going to take a little bit. I might add uh, a couple more just to speed up the heating process and then I can take them down because they won't be needed for cooling. Okay. Let's see here. So I get a preemptive attack. So let's see. So I want to do. Well, you know, it, it's it's one of those things to where when you come in the middle of a maze at stationers, it's it's hard to go, hey, what can I do? And uh, not really that big of a deal. So we're going to do a bunny hop here. And I'm assuming we have enough hydrogen to do what you want to do, do. I'm making the same assumption. Okay. Well, good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, you know, fire, death. And more so I can tell you exactly how that would happen. 
So, you're not quite tied into the gas yet. So, what we need to do. Do you have normal? Oh, okay, you got some. So, what we do is put right here. Um, pressure regulators. I see what you mean though. Yeah. So the pressure regulators would be here to keep this line up pressure. Yep. Yeah, I learned that from Ben. I almost put a pipe right through your skull. <laughs> red here for the volatiles field uh, and again that might be some bit of overspray <laughs> okay. so this is all normal wiring I guess there was some residual gas in this line. So do we need the ice crushers on right now? They were just getting ice for the greenhouse. There's a okay. tank connected to them at the minute. Gotcha. Get some. I've turned them off now, it's 100 litres in that tank. I will move it back to the greenhouse in a second.
Red Panda, how the heck are you doing? All right, so. That spray paint gun, it's awesome. I know, it saves on paint too. Have you tried those uh, those uh, kind of new glasses yet, Ben? Uh, no, nope, not yet. Oh, they make uh, uh, so you don't have to rip the floor up anymore if you want to add cables. Yeah, but see, I, I have to do that. Uh, Notable Joe comes only to watch this game as I put down a frame, completely seal it, dig it up five minutes later to put pipes, seal it, and then dig it up again to put wires. He, it, it's a must. He doesn't call it stationers. He calls it the. Gamer Circle Floor Demolition Game. That was a joke. All right, let's put that there. Put that there. No, no, I'm not digging up floors now, but soon. See, I told you. He looks forward to that. <laughs> People think that I make up a lot of this stuff, that there's just no way, but it's true. Oh, hey, look. So either we have enough power or a line burst somewhere. So, tracing down the... Oh, there's a line busted somewhere. Are you chasing an electrical gremlin? I don't know. Um, I'm hoping the fuse snap or something else did. And... So let me put these here, this way, off, all right. All right, see here, it's okay. Okay, but oh yes, I, I am now chasing an electrical wire pop somewhere because our bat, we're about to lose power downstairs. Yeah, we're at eight percent. So nothing there. Check all these green wires. Look, ah, found it. Ah, uh, can I get to it though? Is that a heavy line? Yeah. So, and it seems to be happening when it tries to pull all the power from my battery, the, the little backup battery. So I might not even put a battery there. I thought it would be a good idea because we keep running out of power. So I guess it's fine if I just have a generator, but you know, it, it's like a trickle charge. I can't get in there. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. That's, that's a problem. Yeah. Then the, I thought the fuse would have prevented it, but for some reason it's picking any spot to, unless I set the fuse smaller. Oh, maybe that's, you know, that's what I'll do. Can I take the fuse off? Oh, I can. Wait, maybe I'm using it. You might need a transformer. Um, and I have to actually limit the amount of power that this battery is throwing yeah. out at once. Exactly, yeah. All right, we'll do it. Battery to battery doesn't work. Uh, honestly, I would just remove the battery entirely. All right. Well, as what I was trying to do was have something as a backup, because if we lose all battery, then if I want to do any logic for this solid generator, I have to tie into your stuff. I didn't want to do that. I just want to create a little independent system here. But I'll, I'll do a transformer so it'll give, I'll have a full battery and then we can trickle charge this stuff until whatever's drawn it is turned off or something like that. How do I get rid of this fuse? Oh, screwdriver. I got it. Um, if you want to do something even fancier, because from what you're telling me here, you're looking to have a, 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 an extra backup reserve here, is, yeah, put a transformer here. Uh -huh. uh, and only allow it to transfer power if this little battery here is uh, has more than like uh, 20 or 40% charge. 
Okay. That way you always keep a little bit of a reserve here. Right. So I can turn the transformer on if that condition's true. And then my other logic behind you will turn on and keep this charged. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Wait. See, that's fancy for me because over there, that's like an advanced college lesson you got going on over there. And I'll, I just totally failed at it. So I'm going to change this percentage to say. Um, what would you think if I use a small, uh, that's five kilowatts, right? Is a small transformer. So I'd want a medium transfer if I want to transfer a little more. Yeah. Okay. APC makes a nice logic battery backup. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. You're right. All right. I'll try to small at first. I might slap an APC on the cooling tower if there's a power cut while it's uh, nighttime, it might cool it too much. But APCs don't limit power, do they? They just uh, pass it straight through. Yeah. But you're limited by, you know, the heavy cable or whatever you put on it, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have some fun with the. Uh... power four percent so somehow well the the power transfer should be working that means that top side is maybe that yeah, top side was out of power so i'm going to turn on the solid generator here it'll add more to the upstairs Oh, I did a boo-boo. Okay. Do you require assistance? <laughs> no, I fixed it. I didn't realize that if you attach uh, something that's doing a hash right and it's not in its complete build state, it causes the logic to break. All right. I now have a small transformer set to it's maximum so i can only send five kilowatts over there so hopefully i don't pop any more lines Let's see if this is actually helpful it is yay all right cool
to use all the heavy cables. That's 12 kilojoules of heating power. Nice. Uh, once it's up to temperature, we can take apart some of the oil. Well, up above the, the radiators, because we should only need two at most. So I just looked up because I did this with pipe heaters. I didn't use because I didn't realize this existed. And pipe heaters only do a thousand joules of heat per tick, so it's one kilojoule. And I had loads of them. Helps if I name them. Yeah, that's 100 liters added into the uh, greenhouse species. Oh, all right, cool. Thanks, Kate. I appreciate that. So in order to do what Ben suggested, I, I have to read the battery into one side of the logic reader. But if I'm going to turn on the transformer, that's the logic writer. 
and that's all heavy cable. So I need all the chips to be. I don't know how to do it to, to do that. Uh, I gotta do some suit minutes here, um, but give me a minute. I'll come down and help you. Okay. I do this. So that gives me the read. That's the input. So I got that on. I'm gonna try to start it. So to turn this transfer on, since it's going to be doing, it's going to tie into the green line, I have to have a, a heavy line. So does that mean I do heavy on all the other things so I can control the transformer? I'm really not a fan of doing that. Yeah. Um... If you're only outputting to it, um, to the transformer from one thing, you can have it all on normal cable apart from the one going to it from the logic writer to turn it on and off. Uh, everything else can be on red cable. Yep, the right side of the logic writer is the output. Right. So, but that, that would mean the reverse of what Kata said, because if I, if I want to control that, I can't put a red cable, I have to have a, a heavy. So if you have, if you have a, uh, uh, green one. Are you just saying from the logic rider has only needs a heavy cable? Okay. Okay. Just the logic. Rider. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got yeah, it. this. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything else can be normal. And then the output from the logic rider. Can, I, I got you. Like okay. This. All right. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. I get it. I was, I was stumped because or I knew I was on the wrong side of the transformer here. I was just going to do a bunny hop. Okay. Yeah. Right. I have learned uh, like recently, and this is very sort of technical. I haven't worked out how to do it yet. Is you can actually pass logic through things by using the slots. I have no idea what that means, but you, maybe chat right now. So you could have logic on this side and. Pass the command through. If I want to get fancy, uh, I could do the wireless things and have a receiver over here and a transmitter over here and transfer ones and zeros back and forth. But no, <laughs> yeah. I get, I get it. I just, I didn't know where um, the heavy. That makes sure. So the logic writer is going to control the transformer. So I just do something like this. So it doesn't matter which side of the transformer, right? It has to be on the 
input to turn it on or the output? There's one particular side. I think it's on the input. That's what I would think. Find out. <laughs> That's true. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. No worries. I'm going to turn this off. Condition will be if this battery gets down to a certain percentage, we turn it on. All right, so that means um, need more this cable. We'll have to do. Uh, which cable are you short of? Uh, I need just normal cables. Very much. There you go. Can't really. I guess I'll just do a bunny. Oh, uh, you you don't need the bunny hook around there. You can come straight through the middle. True. See what you're up to, Ben. Yeah, I'm uh, putting together the pipe system here, but you could use your input on uh, the reheater back there. Do you want the same kind of system I've got for the water? Yep, yeah, pretty much. Alright, so this is set to charge the battery when it gets down to 85%, so... I want to turn this off. I need to actually. So, what temperature range are you trying to keep your cool at? That? It... Uh, so that big tank should be at five Celsius at all times. So we're okay. aiming for five. So I, I can um, set that up kind of for you now. All right, I'm gonna set up the uh, cooling side here after I figure out what it is I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's funny how when things get more complex, so you can do things more complex, it gets hard to figure out the complexity. Of. <laughs> Pipes everywhere, man. I forgot I put a bypass to uh...
All right, so my little battery trigger. Oh, you know what? Hang on, we're about to run out of power. Do this manually right now. Go. Anyone know when they're going to fix the sun bug in chat by chance? This gets at 85, not 50. So this is going to charge it. So if this battery keeps charged up to 85%, so I actually should say charge this up to circles. I want the solid generator to charge this battery up to Why not 100%? Oh, I go over here and throw this switch. Let's make sure that works. And we should be getting a power transfer from the top side. Actually doesn't work. So I have to change that to say Ben, do you have a liquid pipe reader in the, on these pipes anyway? Uh no. I just need to tie into that and then I could add some yeah, let me print one up for system. you real quick here. I'll lay some cable for them. All right, so 99% that shuts off. So I got you. If battery levels are at 50%, means they're not used. Uh, so it changes to 85 No, in this, in the multiplayer, I'm human, but in my single player, I am a robot. I know it's good. It, 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 I have moral issues with that too. It's fine. Is this blue line completely isolated, but?
the radiators are picking up a pipe analyzer from somewhere. I don't remember putting one in there. I didn't do it. Oh. I just put the one in. Alright, there's a storage locker behind that uh, big tank there if you need more uh, parts. It's full of goodies in there. I'm just trying to figure out uh, why it's not throwing an error before I added the liquid analyzer. So that could mean it's picking up another one from somewhere on the system. I can fix it just by using pins. But we don't have a lot of um, uh, liquid pipe analyzers anywhere. Analyzers only show one liquid type analyzer here. There's something I can help to hunt down. Uh, not too sure. Um, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I think I fixed it. Kate, if it's 20 degrees Celsius on the generator, should it turn on? No, it's got another 20 to go, but it's heating up a lot oh, faster 40 degrees. than it was. Okay. Gotcha. Right. It's not going to be uh, lightning fast. Um, no, it's but... all right. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I, forgot. I forgot the uh, condition there. Uh, from smelting, Avian. Yeah, that that's the challenge for the moon is it's it's a good place to start because you don't have to worry about storms. Because if I remember correctly, if you're on Mars or anywhere else storms, the moment you sit down, you have seven days before the first storm hits. So what's good about that is if you get your turbines up, you get power from that, but then it damages stuff and your stuff that's not in a room or tied down goes flying away. That's the con, but the pro... Is like if you're on Mars, you have an atmosphere, you have gases, you can just pull from the atmosphere. On the moon, 
pro is no storms. You don't have to worry about stuff getting damaged and you can use like me, I have a very bad habit of using the entire planet as a locker, uh, but then there's no source of atmosphere, no gases. So you have to, uh, how do you get oxygen? Oh, you start the game with an oxygen tank. Yeah, all the landing pods. I think it might change for some planets, but uh, you'll get a white oxygen tank. Um, still might be on the lander. Nope, I pulled it somewhere. But you'll get... Um... Huh. Is it on the lander still? Or did I use it? I think I used it. Uh, you're going to have to, then you can uh, melt oxide. So there's a, uh, there's a few gases or a few ices. So the pink one is volatiles. When you melt that, you get uh, hydrogen. Um, then the dark bluish, I guess, or blue is oxide. So you get oxygen and nitrogen from that. And then uh, a nitrate, so you get nitrogen and I think nitrous oxide. And with water, you get, or from ice, you get water and nitrogen. Can I borrow you for a second, then? Um, I don't know. There could be a plant that produces oxygen. Um, yeah, right under you. I know that there's some plants that produce hydrogen. Um, when I grew, or when I was growing tomatoes, it was consuming CO2 oxygen and producing the same amount. So as long as you kept the building um, stable, you know, they could basically feed themselves. So this will now try and keep the liquid at, at five degrees for you. Um, if you need any hotter, um, it can be increased. Um, do you have logic on this bit here? Um, I don't think it's functional. I believe it's behind you on the right. Yeah, so, um, what you would need to do, um, because this thing will only heat in the daytime, is either increase the temperature of the water so it increases to more than five and have logic here to say when this is at five degrees, cut it off so it doesn't heat up anymore. Um, because otherwise it will overheat, uh, or it will either overheat one side or overcool the other side. I'm just wondering if you have any thoughts on that. Um, how far above five would it get? Uh, so what you could do is this valve here, have this set to if this tank is at five degrees, cut out. If it's less than five degrees turn it on and then that will warm the tank up it's only if it goes over that temperature uh, would be the problem yeah no that's um that's not an issue uh that heat exchanger stack there uh, it's going to be a bit of a buffer um so my question really is on the liquid side uh what's the worst uh temperature on the high side we can expect it's like maybe 10 degrees 20 degrees or I think the worst, so it's, it's a liquid, so it can probably go to about like 50 or 60 I was uh, when I was testing with, with no issues. Yeah, I definitely don't want it that hot. Okay. Um, I've, currently, I've currently set it to, um, if it's less than 5 degrees, to heat it, and um, if it's more than 5 degrees, to cool it back down to 5 is, is, is currently what it's set up. Yep, that's what it's going to do to the liquid, right? Yes, that's a liquid, and then that will exchange, and then the, the heaters will respond to the exchange. Uh, the automated way to get uh, ices or gas is through the rocket. So, yeah, if you get a rocket set up and you um, you can go out to five degrees get all that. Target temperature for the tank here. Or a trader. Um, but it's not automated. But keeping it five degrees on the liquid side, that's, I don't think that's going to do anything useful. Uh, so a, a hotter temperature? Yeah. I didn't know that, Electra. 
I guess if you have what they're looking for in a vending machine, they'll take it and then leave you some gases. For some reason, logic. I've set it to 20. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Um, I guess I'll um, disconnect this digital bell here from the blue network and connect it to another network here and um, put some logic on it to turn on if that tank here um, dips below 5 Celsius. Need the sun to come out. All right, that should work. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Your liquid will heat faster, it's less volume as well. Yeah, good. It's got a lot of capacity behind it, so... Because this is a big tank, but it's just pure gas. It's still cooling for some reason. Is it all insulated pipes? They yeah, should be, yeah. No, it's still cooling. It shouldn't be. Greenhouse number two cooled down to five degrees Celsius for some reason. It was 30 when I came into the game. Uh, this pump is still on here. Is this tank empty? It's nearly empty. I think it might be the inline gas tank. Yeah, it's we freezing. Got a, we got a 15 minute warning, guys. Such. Yep. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, it's burst. I just saw ice wall. I see what's happening. So this phase change buffer you have is um, forcing a change in temperature. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so... Um, Pipes is very high. Yeah, it was sucking out all of the steam, and then the water was then turning into steam, so it was cooling down, and then that was sucking out the steam again, and then it was cooling down more and more and more until it popped. <laughs> Get gas in there. It looks like it's gone. It's fine with the pipe popped up. Throwing some CO2 in the mix here. CO2.
You'll need to add some more liquid to this network as well, because at the minute it's only got like 0.2 of a liter. Alright, I gotta get some. Okay. Andy, I need your poopy tank. I'm bringing it. Now I'm coming to you. Alright. Uh, wherever you are. I only have 528 kilopascals of mine. Oh, I've got 2,000 in mind. Do you want mine? There you go. Take his. Sure. Hold on. I'll bring you a fresh one. Well, I'm, try I'm trying to keep the lights on. Um, we're not generating anything. Solids on. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. Trying to turn off things that are using power. I'll go grab some more water. Sun's finally coming up. So next week, I'm not around because weirdly, I'm visiting Newcastle where the Angel of the North actually is. Well. Save the solid. Panel should be generating. Do So the fish tank should, uh, next week, um, just start up by itself. Um, I'll probably be on a train roughly around stream time. Okay. Is that 22.0? I'll just get this tank back over to Ben. How much water do you think you need, Ben? Um, not a lot. Um... I figure maybe one portable tank's worth. Uh, this has got 35 litres and a portable tank takes 790. Do you want this just to fill up and you'll take it across next week? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. There's no safety on this portable tank, by the way, so uh, you might need to keep an eye on it. All right. It'll just keep filling and filling while there's ice in that line. I don't, f I don't think there is enough ice in that line to uh, blow it. Hmm. 
Yeah, but Logic took it to uh, 20C. Um, if it goes above like 50C, uh, above 30C, it will try and cool it down again. It just stops the radiators popping in and out all the time. Do you want to copy the code, Ben? Uh, no, I can grab a copy of it later. How goes it's, the day of recovery? Works. Oh, it's fine, Dream. Just um, still struggling with power. I'm struggling to understand here how I'm going to flow the, um, the gas here. Uh, what do you mean, flow it? So the input is on the purple line. Here, so this is the um, um, the power vent sucking the hot air from the gas generator rooms. Um, it'll come so in hot, and the, the idea is to cool it back down to five Celsius. So you wanted to exchange heat somewhere. Yep. You could put in another heat exchange or connect it to this line. That's the purpose of that heat exchanger here. Um... Oh, this is the line that's going to contain um, the volatiles. <laughs> the volatiles. Yeah. We did that with um, when we were on. Mimus, we used the output of the gas generator to power a Stirling engine, or actually two Stirling engines, so yeah. What we're struggling with now is just to get the gas generators to work uh, uh, we, we, oh, I we, see. Had, we had a system in place that worked, but what happened is when the generators would shut off, we didn't need them our cooling kept cooling. So now we're trying to put a logical passive heating in place to make sure that our gases always stay at a certain temperature so that it's always available to get to our generators. So you, what you're worried about then is if you attach this pipe to this heat exchange, it's going to heat up the entire network, isn't it? Um, yeah. What you could do is have a series of heat exchange with one-way valves and pumps. So it will cool, cool, and then it will, it will return to the line. Uh, run that thing again? So what you can do is you can have a heat exchange so as this line comes in you can have a pump and some um, like a valve system so it only goes one way so it will exchange heat once and then go to the next one and exchange heat again and by the time it gets to this last one it will be cooler oh i got you so stage it with um one-way valves yeah yeah so stage you might need some pumps as well it increases the efficiency of them but yeah that's um that's how I originally was doing it until I got the fishbowl in place um, where I had like a massive radiator system and there was I think I had two main and one final one just to keep the line at the right temperature that's what we we're trying to do but um, we're, we we want to if you shut off the cooling right um, it, it's not fast enough to get it back in cool as often as the generators need it. So we're trying to have a, a massive storage that's passively being cooled and passively being heated. So it's it's a struggle. Right, my line colors are wrong here, but I'm just gonna make a straight run for now and then uh, stage it after. All right, gents, it's 11. That's good. Okay, heading back to base. I'm gonna follow Ben because I'm gonna get lost of us. The thing is, uh, the greenhouse number two, um, you guys might have to go to one, just stand. 
Uh, when you guys came to the game, it was 30 degrees Celsius and it dropped down to five. I think this is one of those times to where when you load up the game, random logic just stops working. So the uh, passive, the digital valve for the passive cooling was was kept on. So I just kept getting cooler and cooler. Warm enough now, but I have to wait until the sun comes out. So I'd go to greenhouse number one. It should be okay. You just can't sit That's one greenhouse that was like 50 degrees when I went in there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was for uh, plants. There was a question about plants and nitrogen. You can just get them from the um, composters. So there is a plant that will constantly produce nitrogen. There's one that will always make hydrogen. I think it's hydrogen. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you can get into your horticulture and figure that all out. I never went that far. I just wanted to make sure I could make tomatoes and then change the recipe for tomatoes. You closed the door on you, Ben. You did. <laughs> That's not that warm in here, though. But what is it in there? A cool 47 degrees. All right. Well, the um, unfortunately, we're using oxygen. There's not a whole lot of oxygen in the cooling here. So, you guys should. There is, there's, uh, there's some food and water in there, so you guys should be fine. I'm not worried at all. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, guys. Next Sunday. I, I'll, I'll catch you on stream. I'll watch you from a train. All right. All right, Ben. See you next Sunday. I'm out. Yep. All, all right. right. Have a good one. All right, thanks. All right, guys. So tomorrow. I might not play Stationers. I have two games I need to play that I haven't even started. So I, I'll have to see what I feel like when I wake up. So let's roll some credits here real quick. I'm talking about either Baldur's Gate 3 or Enshrouded. So Car Toys, thanks for the uh, 73 months. Appreciate that. Notable, we'll see you later. You guys have a good one. See you tomorrow.